right, let's talk about cleaning carriers. Carriers are more difficult to clean. If you're transporting cats, they must be cleaned between every single cat. If it's your own cat, your own carrier, and you've taken them to the vet because they're sick or something like that, you still need to clean it after you transported your own cat. These are all hard-sided kennels or carriers. Soft sides are significantly more difficult to clean. I do not recommend them for foster cats. We have to throw them into the washing machine, make sure we're bleaching them, and then the frames break down really fast. So if you're buying something for your own personal use, a soft side is probably okay, although keep in mind it's harder to clean. But we like and prefer these hard sides. After a transport or after your cat has used it, we're gonna do the same type of cleaning we do for litter boxes. We're gonna put Blue Dawn, regular old Blue Dawn in it. I'm going to get the surface wet. I'm going to use a scrubbing brush. I'm going to scrub down every part of this kennel. I'm going to go all the way in the bottom. I'm going to come up the sides. I'm going to come on the outside because guess where their noses go when you're transporting them? Don't forget the front of the door. You're getting every single part right here along the bottom, right here because they do stick their noses up here. They put their feet here when you're putting them in, so make sure you get the top. You're gonna to do the entire kennel. After you do that, get it all soaked up, hose it off, then you're gonna spray it with a spray with a bleach solution or with rescue. Let that sit out in the sun for at least 60 minutes if you can. This will help make sure that everybody is kept clean and healthy as possible. All we need is to help uh, stop the spread of things like ringworm, or upper respiratory or herpes virus. So this is also critical to you helping out as fosters and just general cat parenting. Thank you.